Hey, I'm out walking and I just saw a place where they uh, did some digging and had to fill in the holes and they put some straw down. So it gives me a chance to talk about what are called straw men or straw women. And basically, that's the one who's listed on your driver's license, your birth certificate or passport or any kind of quote official document. If you look very closely at it, you will see the name that you hold is in all capital letters. And that is functioning with an old archaic system that when you use all capital letters, you actually turn it into a corporation. And that comes from two words, corpse and oration. So a corporation is actually something that's dead. It, it's not alive like you, body, soul, and spirit but it is a corpse with an oration. So that man or that woman on the driver's license is really in a sense, it is not you, it's like your reflection. It's like your shadow. The shadow is not you, the reflection in the water is not you, but it's the corpse with the oration that kind of represents you in this phony system. And that is exactly why all the time when you are stopped by police and you are asked for identification. And right now it appears that you're going to be asked for identification for almost anything. And some of that is so they can take this phony individual, this straw man or this straw woman and put it in the system and then hence charge it with all kinds of violations of codes and statutes and various things. And this is going to get a little worse now because of all this virus hoaxing. And uh, then they run that through the phony system and then hold that accountable. And if you say, I'm not that, well then you'll never, quote, get a driver's license. You'll never get a passport. You'll never get uh, the, the opportunity to own a car or to own a home or whatever. Because the shadow is you, even though you might deny it. And there's a lot of people out there that try to teach you how to deny this and deal with this and register this and that. And I'm not so sure that they're successful. I'm not so sure because I think it just leads to disaster. And the scripture I use is render to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and render to God what belongs to God. So in other words, if you're caught in a phony hoax system and you have to pay these taxes, well, you just render it to Caesar. But don't forget the second half. You've got to render to God what belongs to God. And you belong to God, your body, soul, and spirit. Now, how is the way out? Let me kind of repeat what Dave J. or Dave Johnson always says. The way out is to acquire the mind of Christ. In other words, you, you don't belong to the straw man or the straw man system, okay? You belong to God. You don't belong to this world. As one of the hymns sings, uh, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. So that's pretty much how I deal with it. I know all about the straw man, and I know how they want to sucker you to get the straw man in this phony system. But in all honesty, it is absolutely true they hold all the cards. All. And there's secret meetings and secret cabal behind your back. So the whole entire, quote, legal system is a fraud. And anything you do, somehow they can and they will outfox you. So this group of straw here just brought to my mind about the straw man and the straw woman. But try to remember that that's not really you and you were made in the image and likeness of God and you exist as body, soul, and spirit and you want to have Christ in your life and above all, you want to think like Christ with the mind of Christ and that is the way out as Dave always tells us and I'm going to reaffirm that it is absolutely 100% correct. You have to put your mind and thoughts on the thoughts of Christ and His kingdom and His word. 
Thank you for watching and a video.